Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. Currently, we are discussing about the fourth module in our hands on machine learning course with Python, and this module is all about data collection and pre processing. This is the eighth video in our data pre processing module, and this video is about feature extraction of text data. Okay, so in this video, I will be explaining you what is exactly mean by feature extraction and how we can implement this feature uh, extraction of text data using tf idf vectorizer okay so i will also be showing you how you can implement this in python okay so this also contain ants on part okay so first of all let's try to understand about this feature extraction so feature extraction is all about the mapping from textual data to real valued vectors is called as feature extraction okay so I would like to explain you about some basic thing about machine learning here before going into feature extraction. So basically in machine learning, we will feed our machine learning model with a lot of data and our model can find the patterns in this data and it can learn from it as a result of which it can make new predictions. Okay, so this is how a basic machine learning algorithm or basic machine learning model works. Okay, so but when we have the data in the form of text, okay, so it will be kind of hard for a computer or a machine to understand the text data whereas it can easily understand the numerical data okay and we have to convert this text data to numerical data and this is where feature extraction comes into play so what we do is we convert this textual data to feature vectors so feature vectors are nothing but the numerical representation of this textual data okay so this is called as feature extraction so once we convert this text data to numerical data it is now compatible to uh, go into the machine learning model okay so so we need to uh, discuss some few uh, terms in terms in feature extraction okay the first one is bag of words so as you can see here bag of words represents the list of unique words in the text corpus okay so corpus means collection of words okay so what we do is let's say we have a paragraph so the algorithm so this feature extraction algorithm tries to create a list with all the unique words so it removes the repeated words and it uh, creates a list of all the unique words present in that particular text corpus okay so then we will use a uh, tf idf vectorizer so tf idf represents term frequency and inverse document frequency okay so in the next slide i'll explain you what exactly meant by this term frequency and inverse document frequency so let's first try to understand what does this tf idf vectorizer do as you can see here, I have mentioned here that to count the number of times each word appears in a document. Okay, so what we basically do is we create a list of all the words in the paragraph or in the document and we count the number of times the words repeats. Okay, so you may have a doubt. So how, how, how does counting the number of words can uh, help us convert this uh, text into numerical data? So I'll give you an example. Let's say that we are building a machine learning model that can predict whether a mail is a spam mail or a normal mail okay so we all would have encountered this spam mail in our daily life and uh, we can say that the spam mails contain the words like offers free discounts and such kind of things and a normal mail so the mail sent by our family members or our uh, you know uh, colleagues doesn't have these kind of words right so what happens is when you count these words it can tell the machine learning algorithm like uh, this particular kind of label as this uh, kind of words say for example the label for this spam mail prediction will be spam mails and normal mails right and here the spam mails will be the label and this can tell our model that uh, this spam mails as the words like free discount offers etc and this is how counting the words can uh, help the machine learning model to understand what is present in the data set so that is another important thing to note here when we do this vectorizer it doesn't understand the context of the paragraph it just uh, you know tries to count the number of words so number of times the words is repeated and it doesn't understand the context so there are also some other methods which we will discuss in our nlp topics which is uh, natural language processing topics in that part i'll explain you what are the other methods to do this but uh, in machine learning we frequently go with this uh, vectorizer uh, concept okay so as i've told you what does this vectorizer do now let's understand more about this term frequency and inverse document frequency okay so we will be using a tf idf vectorizer and tf stands for term frequency term you can see the formula here so the uh, formula for term frequency is number of times term t appears in a document divided by the total number of terms present in the document so what happens is let's say that there is a, a word called as uh, offer in that particular data set so this vectorizer will count how many times this uh, word offer has been uh, repeated in the document 
and it will divide it by total number of uh, words present in the document. So this is called as term frequency. So this can tell us what are the important words are, right? So there is this uh, IDF. So IDF stands for inverse document frequency and the formula for this is log capital N by small n. So I have mentioned what is meant by this two n's. So the capital N stands for the number of documents and uh, n is uh, okay it's uh, not the number of documents it's number of uh, words okay and uh, small n is the number of documents a term t has appeared in okay. So you can refer the formula here. So basically what it tells is so the IDF value of a rare word is i whereas the IDF of a frequent word is low. So why we have this inverse document frequency value is that uh, there can be words like uh, you know the articles and nouns and other kind of things so words like is are the a etc and etc so these words would be repeated a lot of time and we don't want to give a significant you know focus to these words and this is where we use this inverse document frequency where if a word is repeated a lot of times that word will have a small value okay so this will tell us the machine learning model that that word is not significant okay and then both of these values will be uh, multiplied okay so this is uh, the TF IDF value and each term has this TF IDF value and uh, this is nothing but our feature vectors and it represents the numerical value right. So as you can see here we got some numerical values from these formulas and this is how we can convert a text data to a numerical data. So I hope you have understood uh, what we have discussed here. Now I'll show you how you can implement this in Python okay. So I'll go to my Google collaboratory. So I have the code ready. So we have taken this fake news prediction uh, data set. So this data set contains news articles and uh, it contains two types of news. One is the fake news and the another one is the real news. So you can see the details of the data set here. So we have already made this uh, machine learning project on fake news prediction in our channel. So you can go to the playlist section in my channel to watch this complete video on this fake news prediction. So in this I'm just going to explain how we can you know convert this uh, text data to numerical data. So I'll just give you a you know, short introduction of what we are doing here. Okay, so we just uh, imported the libraries. So we have also already uploaded the data set here. So I'll give the link for the data set in the description of this video. Okay, so you can download it from here. So we are doing some processing. So if you uh, want to understand about this. So once you watch this video, go to the fake news prediction project video in my channel so that you can understand what are the things we are doing here okay so i'll just come to this last part so you can see what we are doing is we are taking all the words and putting it in a you know a congest list okay so this data set contains as you can see these are the columns we have title author text what is uh, present in that news and what is the label so one represents fake news and zero represents real news so we are going to combine this author and text uh, sorry the title and author and uh, by analyzing these two uh, text we are going to make our predictions okay so as you can see here that's what uh, we have did here so we have stored all the author names and uh, the corresponding news uh, news title in x okay so now we need to convert this particular text into feature vectors so this is where we are going to use our df idf vectorizer okay so you can see here I have imported this TF IDF vector as a function from sklearn.feature extraction.txt. Okay, so this is the module that contains this TF IDF vector as a function. So now let's implement this. So I'll just make a text here as TF IDF. Okay. So term frequency and inverse uh, document frequency. So what we are going to do is convert the textual data to feature vectors. Okay. So we need to load our TF IDF vectorizer to a variable. So I'll just create a variable called as vectorizer and now we need to uh, load the function so as you can as you have seen before that we have imported the uh, tf idf vectorizer function from sklearn so i'll just mention it here tf idf vectorizer parenthesis and then so let's run this now we need to fit and transform this vectorizer to our data so as you can see here we need to 
uh, convert this ex data right so this ex data contain all the content so content is nothing but the title of the news and the author of the news so mention this vectorizer vectorizer dot fit and inside this we need to mention x okay now let's create another variable x the same variable which uh, contains all these values and now we are going to transform all this text data so we need to mention vectorizer dot transform so this will transform all the textual data so basically this will count the number of times the words are repeated so which we have discussed before so it will count those words and uh, give the corresponding tf idf value for all these uh, individual words okay so that that is what this fit and transform function will do and inside this we need to mention x so what happens is it will convert all these uh, textual data to numerical data and it will be stored in this variable x so let's run this okay so you can see here in this case i have printed x and we got this text data right and now let's print x again which is uh, already vectorized as you can see here now we have a bunch of numbers so this is how you can convert the textual data to numerical data and now we can feed this numerical data to our machine learning model to predict whether this news is a real news or a fake news okay so if you want to know more about this uh, particular project so go to the playlist section uh, in my channel so if you are new to this channel i I'd like to give you a quick introduction to my channel so uh, in my channel i'm making a hands-on machine learning course with python so i will be posting videos on monday wednesday and friday and monday and wednesday the videos will be following the machine learning course order and every friday i will be posting a machine learning project video okay so that is about my channel so i hope you have understood all the contents covered in this channel so i'll see you in the next video bye